here. Welcome to my vlog. What have I got for you today? Wrist strain in tennis players. Quite common. What's the difference between a strain and a sprain? Well, a sprain is where you injure or damage ligaments. Whereas a strain is from muscles or tendons that get strained. How can this happen? Sprains and strains are common in falls, but strains in the wrist could be an overuse, holding the racket, hitting that racket, the tennis ball harder, because the rackets in tennis and the balls are larger than other racket sports. So overuse is quite common. And weak muscles, and we'll come on to that later because you can prevent that because you can build the muscles up and that will stop having a wrist strain. What are the symptoms of a wrist strain? Common symptoms, pain, limited movement or pain on movement, swelling, but no bruising. Whereas in a sprain, you will get bruising and maybe even deformity if you fractured your wrist or uh, ankle. Treatment wise, most sprains and strains can be treated at home. ATL, we advocate the protocol of rice. Rest, rest for two to three days, even a week, seven days to 10 days, if the symptoms persist. I sit for the first three to four days too. Remember the ice treatment, 15 to 20 minutes, every three hours, as I say, for the first five to seven days. Compression, wear a wrist splint at night, make it more comfortable. Sports tape during the day, or even a bandage, if it makes it feel more comfortable. And the elevation bit, rest the arm up above chest height if it's feasible during the day. Treatment wise, that's the treatment that we advocate at ATL. Now, the prevention bit. Make those muscles stronger, takes the strain off those tendons on the wrist. Do you know this fella? Rafa, his forearms are massive. The professional players work on their forearms so that they can hold the racket. It gives them more control. So if you build up those muscles, then you'll get better racket control. I'm gonna call on my spitting image brother. What do you want to demonstrate now? Wrist extension exercises, wrist flexion exercises, and pronation and supination. Because they build up the muscles in the forearm. Rest the arm on a workbench, and the flexion and extension that's the extension exercise, and then just roll the hand over, hand over, yeah, and that's the flexion exercise. So both the flexion muscles and the extensor muscles will get stronger. And the pronation and supination is just turning the hand over left and right. He's using a heavy weight there, he'll probably explain that in a minute, if he wakes up. Start with the light one, work up to the heavy one. It will make your racket feel much lighter and gives you better control. That's all from me, huh? Bye. Sets and reps. That's what you need with those wrist exercises. Three sets of 10 repetitions, slow and rhythmically, and the exercises start with the light weight and work through to the heavier weight. Slow rhythmical and pain-free. That's your guideline to progress to a heavier weight. Three sets, 10 repetitions of each of those exercises. Build those muscles up, takes less strain off those tendons. That's all from me today. If you want more hints, tips and great advice, visit our website, atlphysio.com. For now, 
Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.